During this quarantine, we're all looking for stuff to do. Redoing my bedroom was something I had been planning, and I knew I wouldn't be able to stand living there without a change. According to psychologist Sherry Borg Carter, an uncluttered room won't overstimulate your senses, distract you, make relaxation difficult, or trigger guilt for letting things get out of control. 2015. In short, not only did this project kill a lot of time at home, but it also did wonders for my mental health. Today, I will talk about the process of giving my bedroom a complete makeover, which includes painting and redecorating with items I bought off of Amazon. First, I had to save up my money because this entire process cost me about $200. During the school year, I worked a job babysitting for my cousins every Thursday for about five hours, which would get me about 45 bucks a week, which isn't a lot at all. So this project had to be carefully planned out about two months in advance, given I had to pay for life's essentials like gas, hair dye, and energy drinks. In the meantime, I had to figure out exactly what I wanted, beginning with the paint. I spent hours scrolling on Pinterest and TikTok for teen bedroom inspiration, and I noticed a pattern. Nearly everyone's walls were painted some shade of pastel, opposite to mine. There's a Chinese ideology called feng shui, which is defined by Merriam-Webster Dictionary as a Chinese geomantic practice in which a structure or site is chosen or configured so as to harmonize with the spiritual forces that inhabit it. According to this theory, supported by feng shui consultant Rodiga Chi, the pale yellow color I chose is said to help create stability, nourishment, and calm protection for all your relationships. 2019. After finishing the paint job, the last thing to do was redecorate. Some of these things I was lucky enough to have gifted to me, such as this body-length mirror and piano, both for my best friend. The finer details, however, were bought with my own money. I replaced my zebra-striped sheets with ones more suitable for my age. I also bought some unique items that really changed up the atmosphere. This starry night tapestry, as well as this window film that reflects rainbows when light hits it. A tip I have for any person that wants a change on the cheap is to take what you already have and paint it. I did this with my closet door, my makeup vanity, my bookshelves, and my corkboard. It's an easy way to add some unity to a room. With that, I hope you better understand the process of giving any room a makeover. It takes a lot of time, money, and dedication, but I promise the feeling of accomplishment is well worth it. The stay-at-home order is hard for all of us, so why not use this free time to do something for yourself?